When asked what toys they want, the children's answers are heartbreaking. The journey to schools is bumpy and dusty. City's construction assessment team estimates they will use three days to visit 18 schools to further understand the needs and condition of each school. In the aftermath of the rainstorm, many of the schools have not the ability to fix their damages, which further compounds the problems they already experience. The most difficult problem is that over 2,000 households of the tribal village and over 1,000 students of this school use the same watering hole. Namatanda General Secondary School has over 6,000 students, but only 20-some classrooms. So their lessons are split up into day and night classes. As well, many of the students come from low-income families. Our problem is we are lacking in classrooms. We don't have dormitory for students, and many students don't have books. Over 90% of our students don't have their own textbooks. Each school has its own unique flair. Before we came, Master Cheng Yan reminded us to really understand the place and get to know how their population is separated, and what the difference between the cities and countryside, and how the housing situation is. She doesn't want the school building to stand out like a sore thumb. It must be incorporated into the place. So you are, I'm, I'm very impressed with your project related to household for families and teachers. And we still have some schools to be rehabilitated. And we hope the Tsushi and other partners of education may come to help us. It is hoped the school rebuilding project will leave a lasting image in the minds of locals. As 10 years from now, love continues to blossom in the hearts of the students using the school.